right car. <clears throat> 34 car hard impact with the inside of the wall on the back stretch there. That's Jeff Fuller in the 34 car. Some trouble off turn number two there. He's already made contact with the outside wall. Here comes Jeff, Jace, uh, Jeff Fuller to avoid hitting him right in the door. He turns his car hard left. But unfortunately, he's not going to be able to spin it around. He's going to make some awfully hard contact with the inside wall. If you couldn't hit it in a worse place, I mean, it was angled to the opening on the pit, uh, inside wall on the back stretch. There's an opening there. Kurt takes the wheel off. Man, look at this car. Oh, That's man. Further back, Elliot Sadler. Sadler. And look at this. The engine is out of this thing. Oh, my God. Well, That's the whole suspension. It's like the front part of the front suspension. The window There's net Elliot. is down for Elliot. He's got the helmet off already. That is the best news. You can see he oh, is, he is, in, he is yeah, in some pain. Hurting. Oh, man. I hate to see this. Green. Oh my right. gosh. Oh, oh my oh gosh. My. Hey, boy, look at that. Head on into that Armco. That's down. That's down in a 90. On the track. Junior will win at Daytona. And the big one happens behind them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the 11 gets kind of stuck in the middle there and gets comes across the fours bumper as he does he spins back in gets the three airborne and he just gets projected off the other cars right up into the fence he went from the bottom of the racetrack oh. was caught up in an accident in front of him off turn four spun down pit road and caught the butt end of the opening of pit wall you see mark climbing from the car there fortunately because look where that car hit that wall just behind the driver's compartment yeah, and this is market caught these cars. You can see Bobby Labonte looks like just loses it, gets loose with that car right up in, uh, behind him there. But Mark had been there for a while, and you can see Mark spinning now. Not much you can do except hold on and lock the brakes as a driver at this point in time. And right there. Oh. Yeah, I was lucky the crew members weren't injured there as well. I'm telling you, that was time. Blaney to the outside, oh! to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow! Crash into the wall, into the air oh. goes Newman. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof, Ryan Newman comes across the line fourth and comes to rest. Carl Edwards. Oh, oh big hit. Contact. That was Bill Lester, I believe, in the 22. Bill Lester hits hard. Travis Quapple goes down pit road. David Rudiman and Chad Chaffin also involved. Bill Lester's co truck comes to a stop just in front of the grandstands. Look at the, the 22 truck right there. Gets loose on the inside, Phil. Slide sliders and makes contact with Rudiman, sending him nowhere but to the outside wall. Yeah, Chad, as Rick mentioned, the safety paraphernalia, the head and neck restraints these drivers have. There's another view of it. Watch, he pulls up on the inside, gets loose on the bottom of the racetrack. We've seen it happen so many times. He, he takes the front end of David Rudiman's truck. They both make hard contact with the safer walls. That's what's critical is, is that all these racetracks now are installing safer barriers. They, that's where they hit. That would help all the head and neck restraint systems. 23 and contact. car with the front end severely torn off. He's bailing out of the car. Not getting chased. And from a bad crash over in turn two. Michael Waltrip has hit the wall hard. The car is upside down. And you can see the car is really torn up. Michael Waltrip's car begins to slip and slide on the outside and contacts the concrete wall nearly head on. The car is sawed in half by that concrete barrier there. One of the most spectacular and violent crashes I have ever seen, Ned Jarrett. Jerry, I've been involved in auto racing for more than 30 years, and I don't remember ever seeing a car torn up this much. The safety crews had run over to the car. Likewise, older brother Daryl Walter was there. Let's check with Penny Parsons. Uh oh, we've got a problem. Got contact here, for sure. Daryl Walter and Joe Walter's car gets on the truck and over and over. Darrell Waltrip tumbling down the backstretch in what appears to be a very, very serious crash. 
Joe Rutman, the other car involved in that incident. There, it looked like they might have yeah. made a little bit of contact, and and it got quick. Hey, we're getting squirming. the signal from NASCAR oh. that DW is okay. Oh, oh, oh boy, man. that's great news. That is just unbelievable news. That that is wonderful. Trouble on a racetrack. The 40 of Dario Franchitti has had contact debris off of one car. Are you all clear? Are you okay? Looked like, looked like we saw a tire explode right in the middle of this pack and uh, maybe caused this big wreck. And I don't know if that comes from just incidental contact, but you yeah, definitely saw some, some tire debris flying. Left side again, looking down the back stretch. Yeah, right there, you can see that tire completely exploding. And I, I would imagine that happened from some kind of a contact, uh, maybe into the left rear, knock the valve stem out, or maybe cut the sidewall of the tire. Oh, man, that's a hard, yeah, that's hard lick right there. And uh, EJ, how tough is it to control a car like the 91 car at these speeds when you got like the left side tires on the grass? Yeah. Today at the Bristol Motor Speedway, there was a near tragedy in Bush Series practice. Mike Harmon hits the wall during practice in turn two, spins down the track, and is hit flush by Johnny Sauter. You can see Harmon there, totally exposed in his race car as Sauter approached. Amazingly, Harmon was uninjured. His race car devastated. Reports to the team that they may have some slight cosmetic damage with the crash. Trouble in turn one. Oh, car on its roof. Michael Waldrip. Mark Martin is in it. One of the championship contenders. Elliot Sadler, the pulse in a 38. Heavy oh. damage. That's Mark Martin's car right there. I can not really tell. The 30. Just tag him just to take a whole lot. Michael coming here. Poor Michael, he has no place. He makes contact with Rusty right. Wallace and Mark Martin. That's what sent him over. Mark's the one that launched him. Oh, man, those cars just getting by on the bottom side. A little bit of what happened is David Reagan also involved in that crash with David Ruderman. You see Reagan walking from his car. Wow. Goodness. Six gets it's like oh, oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Wow. Like Boris said, got into the six car. David Reagan. Oh. But it's getting a nice push from him. Uh -oh. oh trouble. Harvick's around. Oh, got spun on the back stretch by the 43. How many is it Hold gonna break. collect? Hold the break. Oh, what a vicious crash. Eric McClure. erupted in the 99. Kurt is moving. Get the net down, buddy. There you go. He's moving around in there, and it looks like the fire is trying to go out. There's still some fire there, but I don't think it's... 21-year-old. ...that the truck just getting in the corner, it got loose, and that's exactly what happened. Getting in the corner, the truck got loose, and look at the impact with the left front, and the rear comes around and smacks the wall. And then all those sparks flying around and all that contact, and the truck had just pitted just a lap, a few laps ago, so the tank...